Hello everybody and welcome to another Fit For Good online session with me, Jordan. Now I hope you're ready for a fun and fantastic session today because today we're going to be working on your posture, balance and core. We're also going to do a little cardio finisher as well. Now for today's session you will need a couple of things. Most importantly is a bottle or a glass of water that is there ready for you to drink whenever you are thirsty. The second thing you're going to need is a set of weights. Now if you've got your own dumbbells, feel free to use those. But if you don't, you can do what I'm doing. So now I'm going to be using two cans of baked beans because they're easy to hold and add a little bit of resistance for our strength work. That being said, if you don't want to use any weights today, then you don't have to because you can do the whole session with just your body weight. The only other thing you're going to need is a chair or a sofa something to sit on for when you need some rest and also for one of our exercises today. And that's that. So if you haven't got those things ready yet, I want you to put the video on pause, get yourself set up and then resume it when you're ready to go because we are going to warm up. Are we ready? Right, when I start my timer, I want you to walk or do a light jog on the spot. Simple. Let me start it. 10 seconds. Get ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Light jog or walk on the spot. Now for our warm up today, we're gonna to be doing eight different exercises. You're gonna do each one for 30 seconds. You're gonna get a 15 second rest between each one. In that 15 second rest, I'm gonna tell you the next movement. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. Take a deep breath in the nose, out through the mouth. Our next exercise, you're gonna give yourself a cuddle and then you're gonna swing your arms like so. In three, two, one. Just make sure there's nothing around you that you can knock your arms into. I also want you to look around on the floor right now to make sure there are no trip hazards. And if you do see one, just put the video on pause, remove the trip hazard, and then resume the video when you're ready to go. You need a little bit of space for today's session, not too much, but just a bit of space to move around. Almost there. Three, two, one, fantastic. For our next warm up exercise, you're gonna place your feet underneath your hips. You're gonna interlink your fingers. You're gonna reach down towards the toes, you haven't got a touch. Then you're gonna reach up towards the sky. In three, two, one. Now, if you're able to, I want you to round through the spine. But if you can't round through the spine due to an injury or condition, I want you to keep your lower back nice and flat when performing this movement. You have 15 seconds, fantastic. Again, just breathe. Hamstrings and lower back is what we're warming up, but get ready to rest now. And rest, 15 seconds. Our next exercise, you're gonna draw big, huge shoulder circles. And when I say halfway, you're gonna change directions. In three, two, one, let's go. Make these as big as you can. Warming up our shoulders. Get ready to change. Halfway. Change direction, please. Don't hold your breath. Almost there. Three, two, one. One, fantastic. Our next exercise is gonna be one of my favorites. Star jumps. You can step them like this, or you can jump them like this. You choose in three, two, one, let's go. Remember, we are still warming up, so you're working at a pace that's gonna get you warm and not burn you out. 
Lovely, fantastic. 15 seconds, great work. Keep it going, almost there, well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Next exercise, you're gonna have your feet around about shoulder width. Hold on to your hips. When I say go, we're gonna draw big hip circles. Get ready to go in three, two, one. Draw some hip circles. And when I say halfway, you're gonna change direction. Loosening up our hips, fantastic. Lovely. And halfway, change direction. Making them as big as you can to get those hips nice and warm. Lovely, almost there. Three, two, one, fantastic. The next one, I want you to hold on to something. Could be a wall, a chair, or a ledge. Feet underneath the hips. We're gonna do some calf raises. You're gonna come onto your toes. You're gonna to lower slowly in three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, slow, and controlled movement. Squeezing at the top and holding for a second. Warming up our feet, our toes, our Achilles, our ankles and calves. Lovely. 10 seconds. Almost there. We have three, two, one. Lovely. And come back to your computer, please, or your iPad. Next one, and our last one, is going to be a repeat of our first exercise. We're going to jog or walk on the spot in three, two, one. One, let's go. Still nice and light, just to finish off our warm up. Nice and tall with our shoulders pulled back and down, chest nice and proud. Lovely. 15 seconds. Almost there. We have five, four, three, two, one and have a rest. Ooh, have a nice sit down please, and make sure you have a sip of water. Mm. I want you to remember to sip water regularly through today's session. Even if you don't feel completely thirsty, it's always good to keep yourself hydrated. Now that is the end of our warm up, and we are gonna move on. But if you don't quite feel warm enough yet, then what I want you to do I want you to rewind the video, do the warm up again, and only move on when you feel warm enough, ready to go. Because it's important that we're nice and warm because it helps us avoid injury when doing our main workouts in these sessions. If you do feel warm enough, then great. And if you need a bit of rest, just put the video on pause, take one, two, or three minutes before you move on. I'm excited for this one. Let's get ready to work on our posture, our balance, and our core. And let's not forget, our little cardio finisher. Let's get to it. Right, you have three exercises in the first part of our main workout today. Our first exercise is gonna be our posture exercise. And we're gonna be doing our dumbbell row. And it looks like this. So I've got my arms out straight. My hands are sitting just above the hips. And I'm pulling my elbows back, squeezing them together, creating a crease in the back of my t-shirt. I'm pulling my shoulder blades back to work my posture muscles. That's our first exercise. You're gonna do that for 30 seconds. When that's done, you're gonna put the weights down and you're gonna come over to a wall or a ledge or a chair, something to hold on to if you need it, and you're gonna balance on the right leg. Even if you don't need something to help you balance, like a wall, ledge, chair, etc., it's always worth having something near you just in case you need to grab hold of something. So that's what I'd recommend. 
That's our second exercise. You'll also be doing that for 30 seconds. And our final movement of the three is our seated core hold. This is for our core muscles. So you're gonna sit on your chair or your sofa, you're gonna sit yourself on the edge, feet around about shoulder width, hands on your thighs or knees. You're gonna sit nice and tall, you're gonna lean back, you're gonna squeeze your stomach muscles by pushing your stomach, and you're not gonna let your back touch the back of the chair or the sofa, whatever. And you're gonna hold yourself in place, squeezing your stomach muscles to do it, to work them, to work your core muscles. And you're also gonna do that one for 30 seconds. And that's it. After all three, you'll get a 30 second rest. We're gonna do this four times in total, which is eight minutes. Are we ready to go? If you're using weights today, I want you to grab them because we're gonna be doing our dumbbell row for our posture. I'm gonna start my timer, 10 seconds. Hands sitting around about the hips in terms of the line they're on. Three, two, one, and pull those elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Trying to create a crease in the back of your t-shirt. You're gonna do a big old squeeze. Lovely stuff, 10 seconds until we go directly into our balance exercise. Three, two, one, put your weights down, come over to your wall or ledge or whatever, balance on the right leg when you're ready to go. We have 15 seconds. If you're halfway between balancing and you have to hold on to something, try tapping that object really fast. The slower you tap it, the more you're doing on your own. Get ready to change to your chair, free, Two, one, our seated core hold on your chair or sofa. Lean back, squeeze your stomach muscles and breathe. I'm not letting my back touch the back of the chair. I'm holding myself in place by squeezing my stomach muscles. I'm at an angle. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, that was actually quite tough. That's our first round done. We're gonna be going through it again. So we're gonna be starting off with our row, straight into our balance, this time on the left side, and then straight over to our chair. Squeeze your stomach muscles, lean back. Right, 10 seconds. Grab your weights if you're using them. Hands out at hip level. Three, two, one, pull your elbows back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Remember to breathe. This is all strength work essentially. So we're taking it nice and slow, we're not rushing. It's about quality in our movement over quantity. 10 seconds until I'm gonna balance on my left side. Almost there, three, two, one, weights down, walk over to your wall or ledge, left side balance. So remember, if I need help, I'm gonna tap my object really quick. I'm more or less holding on here because the time between each tap isn't very long. If I wanna make it harder, I slow down the taps, taking longer and longer between each one. We've got less than 10 seconds until our seated core hold, three, two, one, over to your chair, sit on the edge, hands on your knees or thighs, lean back, squeeze your stomach, and breathe. Holding myself at this angle, not letting my back touch the chair, squeezing my stomach muscles to do so. Fantastic work, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and sit back up, and have a sip of water in this 30 second rest. Mm. Lovely stuff. Now on that seated core hold, the further back you lean, the harder it is for your core muscles to hold it. 
So that's my advice. If you want to make it harder, lean back further, make it easier, don't lean back as much. Anyway, grab your weights, get ready to go for our row, for our posture muscles in three, two, one. Let's go. Thinking about squeezing our shoulder blades together as if I've got something in between them, like a can, and I'm trying to crush it. Or I'm trying to create a nice big crease in the back of my t-shirt. Basically, pull those muscles back. Get those elbows as far back as you can without leaning back. Get ready to balance on our right side in three, two, one, and transition. Balance on the right side. The higher I bring the opposite knee, in this case the left knee, the harder it becomes. Halfway. In 10 seconds, we're gonna balance, not balance, core, which is a bit like a balance. Three, two, one. Over to our chairs for our core exercise. Remember, sit on the edge of your chair or sofa, lean back, hold on to your legs, feet on the floor, squeeze your stomach muscles. But yeah, this is a bit like a balance in a way, because I'm able to hold myself at this angle, holding myself at that balance point, using my stomach muscles. Lovely, 10 seconds. Remember to breathe. We have five, we have three, two, one. And sit back up, have another rest. We've got one more round of this, our posture, balance and core work before we move on to our cardio finisher. Now, I'm most excited about that one, as you can imagine. Anyway, we've got work to do here. 10 seconds until our last round of each. So get ready with your weights, arms out, hip level, three, two, one. Pull those elbows back. Breathe as well. Fantastic work. Create a nice crease in the back of your t-shirt. Getting those elbows as far back as we can, feeling the back of those shoulders working. We have five seconds until our left side balance. Three, two, one, and straight in. Transition safely. Left side balance. Don't hold your breath for this one. Halfway, 15 seconds until our core hold. Our last core hold. Five, four, three, two, one. And into our core hold. On the edge of your chair or sofa, lean back. Don't let your back touch the edge of it. Squeeze your stomach muscles to hold yourself in place. Well done. We have 15 seconds, almost there. That's it, 10 seconds to go. Great work. Five, four, three, two, one. And have a rest. Have a sip of water. Mm, fantastic. You can move your weights out the way because we won't need them for our finisher. Because that's what we're going to move on to now. Now we're going to do a randomized cardio finisher. We're going to do eight different stations or eight intervals, should I say. Each interval is 20 seconds long and you get a 10 second rest between each one. I'm going to shout out a random cardio movement. We're going to do it for 20 seconds. We'll get a 10 second rest and we'll do that seven more times. Four minutes in total, a nice cardio finisher. Now this can be quite intense, so don't overdo it and work at a pace that suits you. And if you need to miss an exercise or two out because you're feeling too tired, that's absolutely fine. You know, no problem at all. Right, are we ready to go? Our first exercise is going to be like in our warm up. A jog on the spot. This time, feel free to go quicker. Gonna start my timer. Let's get ready to go. 20 seconds of work in 10 
seconds. Right, get ready. Let's jog on the spot in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, jog on the spot. 20 seconds of work. Don't hold your breath. Lovely, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds rest. Our next cardio movement, boxing punches. Get ready to go in three, two, one. Let's go, boxing punches. Short, sharp punches, please. Up and down, left and right, back and forwards, and so forth. And so on, almost there. Three, two, one. Lovely, our next one's gonna be skaters. I'm gonna step or jump side to side, let my other foot travel behind in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Lovely. Fantastic. Keep it up. We have 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Our next movement's gonna be star jumps. I can step them. I can jump them in three, two, one, choose one of those variations, low or high impact. Lovely stuff. Halfway through, 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Our next one's gonna be our march. Use your arms, bring the knees up. Walk around in three, two, one, or do it on the spot, it's up to you. Like our jogging or walking, but I'm getting my knees higher. And my arms are doing a bit more. We have 10 seconds, fantastic. Almost there. We have three, two, one. Fantastic. Hands at your shoulders, feet underneath the hips. We're gonna push press, we're gonna dip, drive. Dip, drive in three, two, one, let's go. Dip, drive, dip, drive, dip, drive. I'm bending the knees, I'm pushing the floor away, extending the arms overhead, lovely. We have three, two, one, and rest. Our second to last one is our low to high, high to low boxing punches. Get ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Woo! Lovely stuff. Almost there. We have five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna finish today's session on another jog. On the spot, walk, jog, run, sprint in three, two, one, let's go, last one. Fantastic, almost there. Use your arms, use your legs. We have 10 seconds. Now at the end of this, I want you just to have a walk around the room for 15 to 20 seconds. Almost there, three, two, one, and rest. Have a walk around. Bring the knees up nice and slow, and just remember to breathe. Just remember to breathe. Walk around the room. Whew. And now, let's have a sit down. Woo! Let's have a sip of water, please. Mm. Lovely jubbly. Oh, and that's our session done. The only thing that we have left to do now is a nice stretch to cool down. We did a fantastic job. We worked on our posture, our balance, our core, and then we finished with a good bit of cardio. A nice mixed session, and you did great. But for now, we've done the hard work. Let's have a nice stretch to cool down.
Right, for our first stretch, we're going to stretch our necks. Interlink your fingers, place them on the back of your head, close your elbows in, pull down, chin to chest, look at the floor. Stretching through our necks, the base of the neck, our neck muscles, and maybe our middle upper backs as well, if that's tight. Just be gentle with it and breathe. Three, two, one. Slowly release. Place your hands on your lower back like so. Pull your elbows together. Shoulders back, hips through ever so slightly. So work the front of our shoulders, uh, our chest muscles, our pectorals, all this area around here. Hope you enjoyed the session today. And if you'd like that one, there are plenty more where that came from on our website, which is fitforgood.com. All you've got to do is click FFG online. There are over 100 free sessions that you can do instantly without the need to sign up. Release the stretch, hold on to something, pull a hill up to your bum. If you can't pull the hill up to your bum, you can just raise the leg, or as one of our member Audrey says, use a scarf, wrap it around your leg and hold it in place. Definitely love that tip. And if you did enjoy the session and, and you want to let us know how you got on, we'd always appreciate your feedback. If you are viewing the session via our website, which is fitforgood.com, you can scroll down the page you're on after this session, you'll see a huge comment box where you can leave a comment for us. We love hearing from you. So please, if you have the time, we'd greatly appreciate it. And let's swap sides. Let's change sides. And remember to tell your friends about our sessions, not just the online sessions, but our in-person sessions too. We love having so many of you doing these and it's great to see you getting fit, getting healthy, especially during the lockdown and during and after the pandemic ends as well. Lovely, release that stretch. Come back to the middle, feet underneath the hips. And we're just gonna round over and let our bodies hang to get a nice stretch down the back of the body, the hamstrings and the lower backs. But just like in our warm up, if you can't round through the spine due to an injury or condition, keep your lower back nice and flat when in a position like this one. Right, from there, slowly come out of the position and then reach up towards the sky. And if you can, let's do a few side bends. <sighs> left to right, right to left. Getting a nice stretch through the middle upper spine and then the opposite side of which we are bending. And then from here, you're gonna take your left arm and place it behind the head. You're gonna take your right hand, put it on the left elbow, and you're gonna pull the arm down the back of the body. Not too far, you won't get very far with this, but you'll feel a nice stretch come down the back of the arm and behind the left armpit. Just relaxing and breathing into a stretch like this can be quite a tough stretch. Three, two, one. And let's just swap sides. Right hand down the back of the head, going onto the middle of the upper back, left hand on the right elbow, Pull the right elbow down, stand nice and tall, get a nice stretch down the back of the right arm and into the right armpit, behind the armpit, should I say. Almost there. Three, two, one. And have a rest. Oh, have a nice sit down, please. And have a nice sip of water. Mm. Lovely. That was a fantastic session today. It's never easy. It's always a challenge, but you always do it. You deserve a nice sit down now with a nice cup of tea and maybe a biscuit. We're done now, but I'll see you in the next Fit for Good online session. Great work, everybody.